Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. After doing the quarter mile in a mind-boggling 8.58 seconds a little over a year ago, the Remitz Nevera manages to impress us with its performance all over again. At the automotive testing Papenberg in Germany, the electric hypercar reached 256 miles per hour, 412 kilometers per hour, in the hands of Miro Zernčević, the company's chief test and development driver. The track was chosen primarily for its two long straights, each measuring two. Nine miles, four kilometers. To make it happen, the Nevera was put into top speed mode, which on a customer car electronically limits the maximum velocity to 219 miles per hour, 352 kilometers per hour. However, Remit says those 150 people fortunate enough to own one can take their prized possessions to the absolute maximum during special customer events with the support from the Remit's team and under controlled conditions. The Navera was not modified for the top speed attempt, and it used Road L. An engineer from Michelin was on location to check the rubber prior to the record-breaking run. Remit says the hypercar was already doing 155 miles per hour, 250 kilometers per hour, after exiting the banking and heading into the straight when Miro Zernčević put the four motors to work to unlock a mighty 1, 914 horsepower. To accurately measure speed, a GPS-based RaceLogic V-Box device was installed inside the car. It will take a while before high-performance EVs will be able to match the top speeds achieved by ice-powered hypercars. As a refresher, the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport remains the speed king after reaching 304. 77 miles per hour, 490. 48 kilometers per hour, in 2019 at the VW Group's Era Lessian testing facility. There's no rivalry between the two brands since they sit under the same corporate umbrella after merging to become Bugatti Remitz about a year ago. As to which EV can go faster than the Remitz Nevera, we can't think of any. Lotus has promised a top speed of over 200 miles per hour, 322 kilometers per hour, for the Avaya. But there's a long way to go until 256 miles per hour, 412 kilometers per hour. The Pininfarina Batista will hit 217 miles per hour, 350 kilometers per hour, while the Neo EP9 can only do 194 miles per hour, 312 kilometers per hour, and it's not road legal. The Lucid Air did 235. 44 miles per hour. 378 kilometers per hour. In 2017 and we mustn't omit the Aspark Owl with its claimed top speed of 249 miles per hour. 400 kilometers per hour. There's also the second generation Tesla Roadster. Which is apparently coming in 2023 after several delays. When the namesake concept was presented five years ago, yes, November 2017, it was touted as having a top speed of more than 250 miles per hour, 402 kilometers per hour. Well believe it when well see it. In the meantime, the Navera reigns supreme. Thanks for watching. Credits to www.motor1.com and Spy Build LLC. Please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.